Now we've just opened our High Connect app and as you can see, we've got three devices. We've got an alarm system, we've got a camera system and an intercom. So on the camera system that says home, we're gonna click on the actual black recorder and that brings up our cameras. Up in the top left hand corner, we've got the front door. So we'll click on the, double click on the front door. Now, this is in basic mode. So it's in a low resolution. So what we'll do, click on the screen, click on basic and we can change it to HD. Now this is all dependent on how good your internet is where you are on your device and also how good the internet is where your recorder is. Now I'm gonna flick that back to basic. I don't wanna leave all my cameras in basic. If you put them all in HD, you'll find one day you'll log in and none of your cameras will connect or some will and some won't. So top right hand corner, we've got the three little dots. We wanna click on those three little dots and we wanna to go to playback. Now, automatically this is defaulted to the cloud. We wanna click over to the picture. It's a picture of a little SIM card. Um, even though we're not using a SIM card, we're connected to the internet. It's, uh, I suppose, saying you're not in the cloud, you're on the storage device. So straight away, this is defaulted to midnight of today. So what we wanna do, down the bottom of the screen, it brings up the date and time. So it's defaulted to the 31st. So if I click it again, you can then change to whatever day you want. Now, happy with the 31st, but what we want to do is we want to just scroll across. So when you're actually using your, your iPhone or your iPad or your Android device, we can drop this to, let's go during the day. Now, we've got, I can see the little face of a little puppy there causing some motion events. So now, once we find now what we can do is down on this actual timeline is you can pinch that those yellow dots and you you can expand it now i can't do that on the actual mac but on your uh, on your iphone or ipad or android device you can now to export footage while we're watching it what we want to do is we either want to take a, a snapshot or we want to press on the video camera and it's now recording what we're watching so then you stop the video camera the other thing we can do is we can uh, click on the magnifying glass or you can look at the little culprit <laughs> she's not going to poke her head out just at the moment now those events so what we do let's click on the back arrow back arrow again and we go back to our home screen now if we look up more and go to pictures and video there is our snap so here's our photo and there's our video now let's go into the photo we can then share that device so we can share it we can email it message it airdrop it to the person the person next to us um, if it's a large video file, you want to airdrop it to, your, to yourself, um, to whatever device that has access to the internet to upload it. We can save it, which is going to um, save it to our camera roll um, on our device. So let's, let's say you've got access. So that saved it. Um, now, that's how to export footage and search for footage of an iOS device.